Next November, the Kernersville Fire Rescue Department will celebrate 100 years of service in the town of Kernersville. And to help mark the day, the Fire Rescue Department is restoring a special piece of history. Over the last several months, the department has been working to restore a 1923 American LaFrance Brockway torpedo fire truck. It's the department's first fire engine and was purchased in the summer of 1923 for $6,500. Battalion Chief Barry McLean says the town of Kernersville helped to fund the special restoration project. Of course, it being around for 100 years makes it special. It is really the only artifact, uh, anything that we can uh, put our hands on from day one in the fire department. So that, that really makes it unique. The, the fact that it still runs, uh, you know, it's going to have the original engine in it. McLean says finding the parts to restore a nearly 100 year old engine hasn't been easy with several coming from across the country. The engine is currently in Boston being redone by a, uh, a specialist in Boston. The, uh, the carburetor is being done in the mountains of North Carolina. There's a guy up there that specializes in that. Uh, there was two brass lanterns on the back. They're in Connecticut right now being restored. Uh, there was a couple of pieces missing. I got one piece from Maine and uh, a foundry in uh, the Amish country of Pennsylvania actually made some new knobs for the uh, uh, for the pump on the truck and the tires came from California. The department hopes to have the truck completed by next summer. It will be housed at the new fire station off Highway 66 in Kernersville. So this is really awesome that they're doing this. Speaking with the battalion chief, he was saying there's only a handful of these left across the United States. And he also said that they recently learned in Mebane, the fire department there, they're also approaching their 100 year anniversary later on this year and they're doing the same thing as well. Gosh. So the fact that we have two fire trucks like that in our area, that's a pretty big and deal. And it runs. And you it, said runs. it runs. Yeah, he says that's it crazy. runs. He says when they open up the engine, they can see over time there have been some people that try to put their hands on it to probably see if they can, yeah. you know, fix different things, but it does run. Mm -hmm. I um, imagine. I, I, every time I see something like this that's a hundred years old or something like that, think about the challenges that the first responders back then mm -hmm. faced oh, yeah. using such, you know, I mean, compared to what we have now, primitive equipment. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just incredible. And it's scary to think that someday people will look back on yes. what we use now and say, wow, how were uh -huh. they able to put out house we'll, fires with that? We'll have flying fire that's trucks drones, by then, right? with water <laughs> coming out from you the You mean sky. they had to spray from a hose? <laughs> right. What's wrong with those people? Uh -huh. um, I, I think of that too because, um, you know, I, it, way more dangerous back mm -hmm. then, even more than it is mm -hmm. right now with the protective gear we have. Uh, another little nugget of history is he was saying that the torpedo is a military style uh, truck and he was saying that they probably overproduced a lot of these during World War One, and so this might have been used during World War, oh, wow. War One. so that's a cool connection as well. So cool. I'm jealous you got to do this story. You know <laughs> right. me, I would well, hopefully to... when it comes back next summer, we'll be able to get some up and personal uh, close pictures and video of it because it is all over the United States right now. That's one thing I li really like about 4th of July parades. You see mm -hmm. a lot of these yes. old cars, old machinery going through mm -hmm. and um, it's just pretty cool.